I don't know. I don't really care. So it's just kind of like the exception. Like, it's the ground type attack that's the exception, not the rule. So. Well, to be fair, it would be. I still think it's kind of funny that I think if a flying type somehow uses dig and you try to use earthquake, it still won't hit it. Right. So I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's just flying up against the... <laughs> flying in the, the hole or something, I don't know. Right, right. What would be better, Thundershock or Tackle? Um... Probably tackle. Okay. Cause I I honestly do not raise uh, the the Marip family often, so I'm not familiar with it. But much to my surprise, it's actually a really easy Pokemon to raise. <laughs> I like it. I mean, it's one of my more favorite electric types. Mm -hmm. I've come to respect it ever since I started playing this. So. Besides, when it mega evolves, it basically has Fabio hair. Pretty much. <laughs> beautiful, it, beautiful, it, lush Fabio hair. Maybe it's natural. Maybe it's Maybelline. Yeah. Oh. Never trust what you hear. Because he says he gets his info off the radio. Well, better than getting his info off the internet. Uh, fair enough, fair enough. Have a point. I guess you could say I'm just being sharp. <laughs> I feel like that's another move pun. No, no, I was just making a joke off the word point. <laughs> okay. I said, did I say I was like playing off all puns or just specific ones? Uh, I did. Don't remember. Oh well. I'll just probably sprinkle in a few puns every now and then. Yeah, that's the best way to do puns. Just jab them in once in a while. So. And not be overly obnoxious about them when I'm not naming any names. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna fight the guy behind me. Jerk. <laughs> eh, he's just being impatient. Besides, do you really want to uh, anger the guy that's blowing fire out of his mouth right now? <laughs> With the level 11 Magmar. I guess he really loves it. Oh, frick. Oh, wait, it's only level 11. All of a sudden, credit. No. <laughs> oh, frick. Hey, well, hey, at least burning it doesn't like, hurt. So. It doesn't work like poison. Yeah, 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 at least. So thank goodness for that. I'm oh, going to restate. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to send out a uh, Rockles just to be safe. So. When all else fails, go to Rockles. Oh gosh, the, the game, the uh, the screen share lagged for a second, so I thought you put Rocky off for a second when you said Rockles. Nah, I think I'll be training him in a bit, though. Rock on. I see what you did there. I just have to get a quick scope of the general, like, the general map of the plays before I do anything. Hmm. Hey, you wanna know what's better with them warp speed on feet? Warp speed on bike! <laughs> yeah, I'll say, because it lagged and all of a sudden you were in Golden Rod. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Gosh, you're just teleporting. I am a time uh, Gotta love screen share. Gotta love screen sharing over the internet with two horrible connections. <laughs> yeah. And it happened again. You're now you're now you're in a battle. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're back to where we were and fighting the guy I wanted to. <laughs> That's not how you juggle, dude. Juggling doesn't go in a straight circle like that. <laughs> This, this would actually be an okay time to raise for you. I, forget, I think he like amps him up to like 14 or 15 or something, but right now wouldn't be a, a bad time to get Rocky up a couple. So. Sorry. 
Come on, Rocky. Because I remember, you know, it's like Steelix actually was a pretty. I think Steelix was kind of solid against Pokemon. <laughs> I see what you did there. <sighs> Gosh darn it. Uh, now I've started making you make puns unintentionally. Right. Yes, my cutting plan has worked. Clearly it has. Nice miss there, buddy. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a beautiful miss. So, I mean, even if Brocky dies, he can kind of afford to die since, you know, I can get an Onyx when I want. You say that and watch this thing's gonna knock it out in my head. Yeah, I know, that would suck. Actually, that would be pretty dang impressive, cons impressive <laughs> considering that amount of damage. Dang. Well, I mean, if, uh, if the next guy is like a non Voltor, then I might have a bit of trouble. I think he literally only has Voltorbs because he's a juggler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I think yeah, the yeah. implication is that he juggles his Voltorbs. Oh, right, right. I think that might have been his highest leveled one there, so... Yeah, he kind of sent out his strongest much too early. <laughs> and then you died to the level two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Died to... That's right, I was like... He's, no, he sends out a Rattata that has, uh... has, uh, Focus Sash, uh, Endeavor... And uh, quick attack, or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fear stat strategy, or whatever it was. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yep, yeah, he pretty much uses his strongest against me. Now Rocky's defense is all the way down. Great. Good job. Yep. It is going to be a screech battle now. Yes. With supersonic waves. <laughs> oh gosh, you just reminded oh, me. Oh, finally, uh, 2 HP! That one took 2 HP! Uh, you reminded me when you said supersonic. Uh huh. Um, Sega did something with their Steam thing so that, um, or, you know, they have that, like, collection of Sega games. Uh huh. Or, like, old Genesis games. They set it up so that there's, like, this. They changed the program so that it actually looks like a room from the 90s, so you can see the system and all that. <laughs> but the best thing is, they made ROM hacks legitimate. Really? Yes, you know how the Steam has that Steam Workshop, right? Yeah. They, they're allowing you to basically upload ROM hacks to that for the games that are in the um, pack, more or less. Dang. So yeah, so yeah. Last night I was literally playing a ROM hack where, you, where instead of uh, Sonic, Entails and Sonic Two, it's Amy Rose Entails, and she kind of plays like the Sonic Advance version. So she has her hammer and everything. Yeah, it was kind of fun, <laughs> oddly enough. But I can legit, you can legitimately play like Sonic One, Two, and Three ROM hacks Dang. as long as somebody uploads them. Wow, so, of course, so of course, not all the original developers are uploading it. It's whoever gets a chance first. But you know, oh, that's right. that's how things work with the workshop and crap in lines. Oh right, that's that's pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So yeah, Sega's basically allowing people to use ROM hacks. Mm -hmm. Hint, hint, Nintendo. Hint, hint. Yeah, I know, right? And while you're at it, region free, please. Yeah, no, seriously. I... You let us do it all the way up until the DS. What changed? At least really? with the handouts. Yeah, the DS and... I mean, DSi had some blocking, where the DSi enhanced games apparently can't. You can't, you can't, but... Um, yeah, I, I've got a Japanese copy of Soul Silver Because huh. I was that dang impatient to play through Gold and Silver again. Right. Oh yeah, Dre, this is a new route. Uh, uh, check the map to make sure there's a new route. Right. Let's see, this is Route 35. Okay, that's 36. So wait, wait, go ahead towards, uh, Viol go back to Violet City and see if the little area connecting to the left of it is part of 36 or no. 
That's what I'm trying to remember. Because I think Pseudo Wudu technically counts as Route 36. Yeah, I think Pseudo Wudu technically counts as Route 36. But of course, we're on 35. So, yeah, I You're don't. Because I think, I think 36 is literally the route that connects the National Park to Violet City. Yeah, yeah. And I think Pseudo Wudu is technically on Route 36, so if you caught anything or fought anything... Uh, I think Pseudo Wudu literally is the only thing on Route 36. There, I thought there was a patch of grass, or maybe that's just crystal. Right. Well, let's just pray that this is a Pokemon... Well, either way, here's your encounter. Oh, wait, uh, you know... Dupe claws. Dupe claws. Jinx. Now Jinx. you owe me a free... Jinx. Exactly. <laughs> now you owe me a free lemonade. Topical! Yay! Oh yeah, it totally is topical, isn't it? <laughs> I like how it took you a second to realize what I was saying. Uh... <sighs> well, I mean, you know, you just had dupe claws if you... Oh yeah, uh, that's a thing right now, isn't it? Is it Sunday or Saturday the the bug catching contest? It's Saturday, yeah. Um. So we could totally do one right now. Now that's the thing. Does that count as your encounter for the national park? I have no idea. Because that would mean that you would have to fight and try to capture the first one. Otherwise, you're not catching anything for the contest. That that's true. Let me check that. Let's see if there is something that talks about that. But there are also trainers there. Oh, wait. Oh, that's Quick Claw. I thought it was Amulet Coin. Crap! I guess Rocky could afford to hold it. Being a slower. See, even the worst thing is, what were you if, if you were planning on leveling up Raditz? What were you going to evolve it eventually into? I don't think I'll be raising Raditz, but if I had to, who'd be the better one? I don't know. I mean. You buy all Plumes Grass Poison, but then you've got the Blossom, which is pure grass. Uh -huh. And those trainers will not go to you unless you're right, in unless the grass. Unless I'm in grass, right? And, and from what I'm looking at online, um, they treat the National Park, no matter what, if there's a contest on, as one encounter. Okay, so, okay, so like if yeah. I wanted to get my first Your best possible. bet would probably be... Uh, your best bet would be to take the challenge and hope and pray that you get, um... Is this silver or gold? This is silver, but again, uh, it doesn't really matter since all Pokémon from gold have been transferred, so... Your only hope would be to get either a Pinsir or a Scyther, Scyther and hope... Yep. And, well, and obviously I wouldn't use Stopwatch as my Pokémon because that would just knock everything out in one head. Yep, yep. Well, actually, now I got Tackle, so... Yeah. Plus, he's really about my only status. So, yeah, you know, that's... Sorry. Would I have to uh, put Pokemon away if I caught something, or...? Um... Your box is in full, is it? I do not think so. so. Um, you don't need to put anything away. I think the guy holds on to all your Pokemon except for your first one. Okay, right. So pick whoever you'd want. I think that they don't go up any higher than level 14-ish in the bug catching. Hello, Liz the Picnicker. Yeah, I just fast forward. Fast forward. You know, I would have really loved the whole phone thing if whenever they said that they were trying to catch a Pokemon, they catch it, and then the next time you bought, fought them, they actually had the Pokemon they mentioned yeah, they I know, they know. That, that, that would be awesome. It's like, it's like the more they call you, the more they talk to them, you kind of develop their team. What I would like to see for Sun and Moon is the, the ability to more or less pick your rival. Oh, right, right. 
like you don't actually have a set rival at the beginning. Like if you find a random trainer that seems to, oh right, ash, right. you could pit, designate them as your rival. Oh, that'd be cool. That would be cool. Also, we need to have the customization for the trainers back again. Mm -hmm. With a little bit more customization. Come on, let's make it Animal Crossing. Almost. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> No, no, they need to make a. They need to team up with that style savvy game. Yeah, it's called. I only know about that game because my niece plays it. All right. Then again, then again, my niece also has the Hatsune Miku uh, 3DS game too. Oh my goodness! Well, I'm gonna give it a shot. Don't so, screw it up. I'm Don't get a caterpie. I'm gonna. <laughs>